students now we are going to start the topic of series rlc circuit having completed series rl and series rc circuits in series rlc circuit there are two energy storage elements inductor and capacitor so the differential equation which will be formed for the input and output will be of second order it's an integral differential equation as you can see vt minus rit minus ldi by dt minus 1 over c integral it dt is equal to 0 this is the voltage across the capacitor, this is the voltage across the inductor, and this is the voltage across the resistor. Now, one assumption we have made while deriving uh, the expression for IT, the assumption is the circuit is initially relaxed, which means that there is a no current, initial current in the inductor, and there is no capacitor voltage, initial capacitor voltage in the capacitor. So, taking Laplace transform now, we obtain Vs is equal to RIS plus l s i s plus 1 over c i s over s all of these quantities have become plus because it has gone on the right hand side which can be clubbed together r plus s l plus 1 over s c into i s which gives you this and when we write i s as s c v s over s square l c plus s c r plus 1 our aim is to find out an expression in terms of s square with coefficient being made unity so we take out lc comma cc gets cancelled and we have 1 over l into s divided by s square plus s r y l plus 1 over lc into s substituting the numerical values of r l c and v s we can find i s and hence i t now Instead of deriving from here, because we don't know for what kind of VS we are going to derive the expression for IT, so we'll take up an example. And by the help of the numerical, we'll be in a position to um, know all the three cases of underdamped, overdamped, and critically damped RLC circuit. So, with the help of a numerical on RLC series circuit, we are going to demonstrate all the three conditions that is, Underdamped, overdamped, and critically damped condition. This has also been asked in midterm exam of 2014. A series RLC circuit having a pure inductor, a pure inductor is one in which there is no resistance, having an inductance of 1 Henry, a pure capacitor, a pure capacitor is one which does not have any conductance in parallel to it, having capacitance 1 farad is connected with a variable resistor. The value of which can be varied, which can take three values, 1 ohm, 2 ohm, and 3 ohm. So this is the circuit when you have a unit step voltage, means a DC voltage of 1 volt in place across it. At T is equal to 0, the switch is switched on, variable resistor, pure inductor, and pure capacitor. We write down the KCL equation and try to find out what is the value of current. The question goes. Determine IT for T greater than 0 in each of the three cases, indicating the nature of the response. And we have to assume all initial conditions to be 0. The differential equation in this loop with current IT is given by VT. This is VT minus RIT drop across resistor minus LDI by DT drop across inductor minus 1 over C integral IT dt will drop across the capacitor. Taking Laplace transform on both the sides, Vs minus Ris minus L of Sis minus I0 minus 1 over C Is over S is equal to 0. Since we have initially relaxed system, so I0 is 0 and Vc0 is 0. Putting these values, we obtain Vs as Ris plus Sl Is plus 1 over Sc which gives the same expression which we have done earlier in the derivation and this expression is is equal to vs over r plus s l plus 1 over s c which finally gives you this taking lc common or here since the voltage has been specified as 1 volt so vs will substitute here s into vs becomes 1 so there will be c left c over s square lc plus s c r plus 1 so, LC is taken common from here so that the coefficient becomes unity and CC gets cancelled. And this 
L is brought in the numerator as 1 over L. So this is our expression which we need to find out the inverse. Now before finding the inverse we have to investigate the three conditions where the value of R is different. In the question it is given inductance as 1 Henry, capacitance as 1 Farad and the resistance is varying. In case 1 resistance is 1 ohm. So Is is equal to 1 over L divided by S square plus R by L into S plus 1 over LC which becomes 1 over S square plus SR plus 1. Is for R is equal to 1 becomes 1 over S square plus S plus 1. Name it as 1. Move on to the next case. When R is equal to 2, just substitute R is equal to 2 here. You get the second case. And third one, when we substitute R is equal to 3, it gives you 1 over S square plus 3S plus 1. For each of the three cases, we are going to determine the value of IT. Now let's investigate what, what is the difference between each of them. What is the value of B square minus 4 AC here? What is the value of B square minus 4 AC here? And what is the value of B square minus 4 AC here? A is 1 in each of the case. C is 1 in each of the case. Only the value of B is value. This becomes 1 minus 4, that is minus 3. This becomes 1 minus 4 minus 4, that is equal to 0. And this gives you 9 minus 4, which is equal to 5. As we know, if B square minus 4 AC is less than 0, it's under damped case. Damping coefficient is less than 1. Later on, I'll tell you what is damping coefficient. B square minus 4 AC is equal to 0. It means critically damped case where zeta is equal to 1. And the third one, B square minus 4 AC is greater than 0. This is over damped case. And zeta is greater than 1. Let us now find out the values of IT in each of the three cases. Case 1. IS is equal to 1 over S square plus S plus 1. Which on completion of square method. S square plus twice of S into half. So that it becomes S. Plus half square minus half a square so that we are not doing anything additional plus of 1. Now these two terms will be combined together it will give you 3 by 4 and this whole thing will become s plus 1 whole square. So it gives you 1 over s plus 1 whole square plus 3 by 4. 3 by 4 can be written as root 3 by 2 and root 3 by 2 should come in the numerator that's why we multiplied and divided by root 3 by 2 here and 2 by root 3 came in the multiplication. So taking inverse it is giving you 2 over root 3 e raised to the power minus half t which has come because of s plus half and sine of root 3, 3 by 2 t this has come because the Laplace inverse of omega n divided by s square plus omega n square is sine of omega t. So this is the answer for case 1 that is under damped case. Now I will tell you what is the meaning of zeta. S square plus 2 zeta omega n into S plus omega n square. If you equate this to S square plus S plus 1, you will get omega n natural frequency as 1 and zeta as omega n 1 over 2 into 1. That is half. So here, zeta less than 1, we can write down as zeta is half here. The exponentially decaying sine curve has been shown here. For t tending to infinity, the value gradually reduces to 0. And it's a variation of sine function 
within the envelope of e raised to the power minus half t. Second case is when both the roots are equal and is is equal to 1 over s square plus 2s plus 1. The roots are at s is equal to minus 1. So, is becomes 1 over s plus 1 whole square and we know Laplace inverse of 1 over s square is tut. So, if s is replaced by s plus 1 by frequency shifting formula, it becomes e raised to the power minus t into tut. This is the answer for case 2. Case 3, when is is equal to 1 over s square plus 3s plus 1, the roots of the equation are minus 3 by 2 plus minus root half into root 5. These two terms, we can write it as a over this plus b over this, which on solving gives us by the normal process a is equal to minus 1 by root 5 and b is equal to 1 by root 5. Substituting these values here and taking inverse Laplace transform, we obtain it as being equal to minus 1 over root 5 e raised to the power minus 3 by 2 minus root 5 by 2 into t plus 1 over root 5 e raised to the power minus 3 by 2 plus root 5 by 2 t. This is the answer. Now let us quickly go through what is the value of zeta in both the cases. In this case, s square plus 2s plus 1. Omega n square is 1, which means omega n is 1. 2 zeta omega n is equal to 2 here. 2. So, zeta is equal to 2 over 2 into value of omega n that is 1, which gives you 1. So, critically damped case where zeta is equal to 1. Let us take the third, third one. Here you have s square plus 3s plus 1. Omega n as before is 1. And 2 zeta omega n is equal to 3, which gives you zeta as being equal to 3 over 2 into 1, which is 1.5. So, zeta is greater than 1 over that case.